Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm just out today. I'm checking my cows. I, I brought them over a, a mineral tub and some salt blocks. And, uh, you know, for I'm running these cows out here. On, uh, I got corn stalks. I got millet stubble. I've got uh, soybean stubble. And all as well, I, I have uh, some cane that was his worst um, windrow grazing, I guess you can call it. It was cut and, and it never got bailed. And, and you know, this is a small field, irregular shape, kind of a pain to uh, farm. And, uh, you know, if this actually works out well, I might, uh, I might purposely try doing some of this every year, having some, you know, 20, 30, 40 acres or something that uh, we don't plan on baling because this uh, sorghum sedan grass or cane or milo type stuff that gets 10 foot tall. Um, it doesn't dry down very well and uh, this was actually my field where I had rye planted and I baled the rye off and, and this was planted here later on and some of it was really good and some of it wasn't but I'm just going to take you guys for a little drive around and show you kind of what the windrows look like and how the cows are doing on it and and uh, I've never tried uh, windrow grazing before but I'm thinking it might be something that I might I might try to do in the future so Maybe you guys can learn along with me here. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so we can see better and we'll go from there. I just flipped the wind or the windrow around. I just flipped the camera around. I'm just gonna stop over here. There's no cows right in this area. Jump out and kind of show you guys what the feed looks like. I should have gloves on, but I don't. Um, but you can see they've really dug through it. I see very little um, manure on it. And now that's actually pretty good looking feed yet. Um, it's laid here for quite a while. In my opinion, I think the cows are doing pretty good. There's a little manure right there on it, but I mean that's uh, you know not too bad for sitting under some new snow. And they've they've dug through a lot of it. And be interesting to see how well they actually clean it up. I'm trying to kick some around for you guys. To see what's all in there? There, I got a big old wad of it up. Um, but yeah, if this works, I might try to do more of this in the future. Um, I've thought about bringing some alfalfa bales over, over to supplement their protein levels. And I decided not to, just because I'm scared if I give them an alfalfa bale, they'll, they'll want to be fed alfalfa and they won't dig through the snow for this. So that's why I brought them tubs over. One's a mineral tub. One's a protein tub, and then I brought salt blocks. And I'll show you guys them as I leave, maybe. But, you know, they're, they're taking through it, you know. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Um, not a lot of snow, but six to eight inches of snow here. That strip right there, we actually left standing, and, you know, they're actually, they're going after the stuff that's been windrowed. Um, better than the stuff that was not windrowed. Here we're coming up on the cows, so I'm, I might not talk a lot. And I don't want to scare them too bad, but kind of some rough country right here. Hope you guys don't get sick from me driving around and camera bouncing. But silly mirrors in the way. Pretty good looking cow. Some of them are probably slightly overweight. I'm gonna try to get close to them here. But I'll probably put up another video on this uh, swath grazing um, later in the year here. Um, they've been out here for actually since the 19th of December. Um, I haven't fed them at all. They had plenty of corn stalks and things to eat like that. Now they've took them forever to find this. Once they found it, they've been spending a lot of time over here eating it. This bottom where they're at now, it's actually kind of weedy and grounded out. Um, so that's kind of what we got going on down here. You can see I'm gonna pull over here and show you guys. Some weed, you know, they're down here grubbing on, I guess, but. I think they're just wandering around, but 
anyhow, I, I don't know what you guys or how, how many of you guys tried swath graze in this hay grazer. Um, I'd be interested to hear what your guys' thoughts, opinions, and concerns are. How, how do you guys turn out with it? And things that make you uh, think it works well and things that make it not work well. Um, I'm just, uh, this is kind of like my little experiment, I guess. And so far, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, actually, the, the guy who owns this ground, I think he's happy with it. He didn't have to pay anyone to bale it, and as long as they clean it up enough that he can farm through it next year, um, I think that uh, it might be something I continue to do. Uh, whether it be here or on a different farm, I guess we'll see. But I'm going to cut this one off and run over and uh, show you guys some lick tubs and salt blocks, and uh, I'll be back here in just a second. All right, well, here's the one of the lick tubs. There's the other lick tub, and there's a salt block, and there's a, I think it's cobalt block salt. There's where they get their water from the entire tank right there. So, anyhow, that's kind of what we got going on here. And uh, we're just experimenting, seeing how it works this year. And, and I hope it works well, because I could, if I can graze my cows for quite a while on that, sorghum sedan or, or hay grazer or whatever you want to call it um i think it's something that would be worth doing so we'll uh well thanks for watching that uh video guys i uh i'm not a big fan of using lick tubs and processed proteins and things like that but in this instance i think it's going to be better than me trying to haul hay over here and and making them think they're going to get fed um I think that uh, feed probably has enough in it, but I just want to make sure it's been awful cold and I just want to make sure it works good uh, before I, uh, you know, try it again. So, you know, even if it costs me a few extra cents a day, it'll uh, hopefully be cheaper in the long run than actually having to feed them. I've uh, fed my cows long enough this year with the drought and things. So, anyhow, I guess uh, you guys uh, just please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, Ask some questions if you want, and we'll uh, see you guys on the next one.